guys, welcome back to my channel. You're probably wondering why I'm sitting in front of the camera with my hair looking like this, but I had a revelation this morning and I was thinking, you know, I probably don't really share what I put in my hair or what I use in my hair, not that it really matters, but maybe a few of you are curious and how I control this lovely mop of mine. <coughs> mm, sorry, still recovering from my cold. Um, hopefully it doesn't get any worse. Actually, it was just allergies, but I'm hoping that it doesn't get any worse. Um, <clears throat> I just recently changed my hair from pink to brown. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna move y'all a little bit so you can actually. What I basically do is I just use a sulfate free shampoo. Most of the time I change it up a lot. Um, I'm currently using the Redken, like, it's in a red bottle, I don't know, it's for color safe hair. And then I sometimes use a, um, ant a dandruff shampoo because I do have dandruff <coughs> and my dog is down here. What are you doing, baby? Oh, you don't need that. That is not for you. You leave that alone. Um, so anyways, I don't usually use a conditioner because when I do wash my hair with con Hey! Say that. When I wash my hair with a conditioner, I don't, <clears throat> it stays in my hair and it will, it won't come out and it'll leave my hair really, um, what is it called? Weighted. So I use a leave-in conditioner <clears throat> and I've been using this one, the Whole Blends Soothing Leave-In Conditioner. I actually even sometimes put this in my hair at night when I wash it and then I leave it in my hair for the next day and sometimes I'll rinse it out and sometimes I just leave it in because it makes my hair soft and, um, I get very tangly hair, which I probably should use conditioner, but... Um, it doesn't matter. Even when I use conditioner, you know, where I think, oh, my hair will be less tangly. No, it, it's still tangly. Um, so I just use like a dollop of that, <clears throat> and I love this stuff. I used to not like leave-in conditioners, um, because I always felt like they kept my hair weighted, but I don't put it up in the upper parts of my hair, because that's where my hair gets really oily and stuff. I put it at the ends, especially because my hair is still technically bleached under this. Um, so it's still damaged. It's just covered with a another color. So I still need to be careful. I can't go, you know, all hog wild crazy. So I just take a palm of that and just rub it through my hair. And then I also, um, <clears throat> my hair has like its own natural body. So, um, it kind of tends to just sort of dry whatever way it wants. But I also use this, um, I just have this because I got this when I signed up for Perfectly Posh. Um, so I've been using it, but I usually use some kind of like oil or spray or something of that sort. I usually use an argon oil, but the thing is I'm out, so I'm just using this right now because I want to finish it up. It's the End Men Fix. It has a Carablin natural Carabead natural fusing technology. It's for split ends. It has sunflower shea, argon, ma mango, and aki uh, oil, and then I just spray it in my hair all around. It does smell nice. I don't think they have this anymore. I don't know, but um, yeah, it's on. It's from Perfectly Posh, so if they still have it. It's not bad, though. And then I use my detangler brush. This is the Connor detangler brush. It's like the wet brush, but this is their version. Um, it's in a shower. I don't... I do use sometimes a to, uh, wide tooth comb, but I don't really like a wide tooth comb. I'll use it. I, I mean, I should. I'll, sometimes I'll usually just take it. Oh my goodness gracious. I still have, ugh. Anyways, I would just take it and I usually just like take out the top part of it, like the tangles. I know like really this is not like, I don't know why I'm doing this, but because I can and I want to. I'm going to do my face too. This is sort of a get ready with me morning routine, whatever. Like this is my morning routine, <laughs> usually. Like this is a Friday. This is not my usual morning routine, but it's, you know, close enough. I do watch my cousin, so most of the time I don't have time to get ready, but on the days that I'm home, um, <clears throat> and I have time to get ready, um, I usually do actually sit down and get ready. <laughs> but when I don't have time to get ready, usually I just put my hair in a ponytail and go, but I need a haircut, so I'll stop doing that, because I'm so bad about that. Okay, so anyways, do that, and then I take the Conair tangling brush. Right now I have my hair split down the middle. This is not normally how I style my hair. And I just brush it all the way through. Now if you have curly hair you can't do this so obviously my sister has curly hair so I understand that. Um, 
And I bought this uh, Conair brush from uh, Walmart. Walmart or H-E-B? I don't remember. One of the grocery stores. And actually, I like this better than the wet brush. <clears throat> I don't particularly... I had one of those, and um, I didn't like it that much. This is similar, but it's not exactly... Man, I tell you what. I'll brush my hair, and then... Oh, jeez. Okay, so what I do is I don't part my hair straight down the middle. I have a, I part it like somewhere right about here because I have like a cowlick right here. So usually I like comb it back and then I'll, I'll toss it to the side like this. And that's usually how I part it. It's like not straight down the middle. Honestly, I think straight down the middle is not the cutest look, but you know, hey, if that's your look, you go right ahead. And my hair, I usually let it uh, naturally air dry. Um, since it's Friday, I might straighten it because we're going out tomorrow. Not like out to eat, but we're going out <clears throat> as a family. So I'm going to do my makeup quickly with the e.l.f.s products that I, um, uploaded. Yes, well, today's Friday, so it'll be uploaded today. Um, this will probably go up tomorrow. Um, or Sunday, I don't know, depending on how I feel. But anyways, um, that's how I do my hair. I do sometimes blow dry it, and then I will straighten it. Um, maybe I'll show you that, but really it's not like that big of a deal. I use a, I need a, um, a new heat protectant. I am out. I used up all my heat protectant. <clears throat> so anyways, I'm going to be using my Garnier Skin uh, Active Clearly Brightening Broad Spectrum SPF 15, 50, sorry, 30, um, on my face. And I just put a little bit and I just rub into my face. And I put this on my face every day. Like, I use sunscreen every day because your skin needs to be protected at all costs even if you don't wear makeup you should always always put a sunscreen on because you're out in the sun and on I usually rub it into the back of my hands and then I'll put another sunscreen on for the rest of my body but I just use this for like my hands and my face and I usually put a good amount I've been using this one for a little while I actually do like it so that's the one I use <clears throat> And then I'm going to be using the Milk. I'm going to be using some of the e.l.f. products, like I said. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. I've used this before. Um, I got it in an influencer box. It's a silicone-based primer. Um, it's okay. It's not my absolute favorite. Um, but it works. I'm mostly, I'm just going to put this, like, right here where, I break, where it breaks down. And then I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Um... Oil Free <coughs> SPF Sunscreen in 15. This is their lightest shade, Light Ivory. I'm hoping this matches my skin. The other one I got, which I bought at CVS, was too dark. It was like the second lightest shade or the third lightest shade. I don't remember. They only carry three shades. Online, they have like six shades, which still is not like, oh, wow, that's a lot of shades. It's not, but at least it's more than three. So I think I did a little color matching when I was doing the um, swatches, or swatching it, and I think that it will match a whole lot better than um, the one I had before. Yeah, this is much better. Because that other one was like so dark, and I know that looks me look white, but I'll rub it in. I'm not going to use that much, because I don't want that much. Um... Sorry guys, I'm checking the time, because I do have to do this as quickly as possible because I do well not like super quick but I have to do it a little bit quicker than I normally do because my son has an art meeting today and I have to go up to a school and talk about his plan and all that stuff and I'm using just a dope is this dew color this is a dew color brush that Valerie sent me um I actually like it for the most part I do like the dew color brushes they're really nice I don't have a lot of them but they are nice um and uh I do use this I don't I have, I have the other ones from Real Techniques. Is it Real Techniques? No. What is that brand called? Jeez, I can't remember. If I want a light coverage for my foundation, this is a great brush. Um, because it doesn't um, make it too heavy. And it spreads it around real nice. It does absorb the product. You know, it does. What the heck? And I have stuff in the corner of my mouth. Alright, that's enough for me. I don't have a concealer from e.l.f. <clears throat> because I don't like their concealers. But I am going to use... I don't have a powder either. So I'm going to use my same out powder. I'm not using all e.l.f. products, but... Um, 
I'm going to use a lot. This is the e.l.f. powder brush. I'm just going to use that to, um, I love their brushes, to make this matte because I do not like, I'm looking very shiny in the camera, I do not like dewy foundations. I like mount foundations. I don't want to look like I'm shiny because I'm already look that way anyway. So this is making me look really white, but it's actually really a good match. It's a lighter. I rather have light than too dark because then with light I can at least, you know, warm up my face. I can make it look a little bit more like ghost, less like ghost, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But at least it's, uh, I do like this foundation, I just wish they would have a more wide range of shades. I wish they would, you know, open up that. <clears throat> so today I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Mattes du Blush Duos. It is the Soft and Suede. And I really actually like these shades. I've had their blushes before but never liked them. But one of the YouTubers I watched, I don't even remember who it was, I'm sorry. I think it was Emily Noel. She suggested this, and so I was like, I'm gonna get it. So it's um, I'm using the Elf blush brush, which I haven't actually used this yet. And I'm gonna use um, uh, I think I'm gonna use the darkest one in this palette or this duo, and see what happens. Actually, I like that. It's I think you still need to like make sure you because I like very subtle blushes. I don't want like pow in your face. Um, so I actually like this. I think the other one would be my favorite, the little bit softer one. But for, I think this was like $3 or $6. This is not bad. <sighs> and I think I may actually like some old blushes now because I like that one. <clears throat> Alright, now I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Um, brow pencil in, I think it's just brown. I don't know. Oh, here it is. Taupe. And I like this. This is two dollars, and I this is one of my favorite eyebrow pencils. And I usually, I sometimes have the I have the brow pomade too, and um, brow uh, light brown. I like that too. Those are my two favorite brow products, and they're like three dollars and ones too. So definitely, they have great brow products. I've never tried their brow powder, but I'm not a big fan of brow powder. I have the Urban Decay one, and it's all right. I only wanted to because I like Urban Decay. <laughs> Actually, I do like it. It's just I don't use it that often. It's for very, like, if you want very subtle brows, that's definitely something to go with. And I got it from Nordstrom Rack for like $8, so. Man, this blush is making me look like a clown on the camera. I promise you it doesn't look like a clown. I'm sorry, guys. Like, sometimes I feel like my camera's lighting is not always in focus. Actually, it's not that bad. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you with me getting so close to the camera. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> I'm excited because I'm hoping tomorrow I can do some a try-on haul or Sunday. I am determined to get that done this week or this month because honestly, I've been wanting to do that and I've told <laughs> Valerie I would and I kind of, it's just been, life has been so crazy. I haven't had a chance to do much of anything really. This is the e.l.f. brow gel. You know, if you've been watching my channel long enough, you know I like this. It's one of my favorite e.l.f. products. Alright, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. I did receive this in my uh, influencer box a while back. Oh no. Oh, there it is. My fan brush. I was like, oh no, where'd my fan brush go? Because a lot of my brushes are dirty right now. What I did to make this a little bit more, like, pow, is I scraped out the first layer of the the whatever you call it, highlight. And it works really well. And it's a not, I, I think it's a little bit more subtle than like the, um, what do you call it? The one I always use, the Becca Opal. All right, the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using is the Sculpting Silk Eyeshadow Palette in, or I said trio, Rose All Day. Oh my gosh, I really need to get going. Okay. I'm going to do this really quick. Put on my lips and I got to go. Okay. Need a, let me just do a one eye look. Uh, I'm not even going to put primer on. We'll see how long this lasts without a primer. That'll be the ultimate test. Alright, I'm just using the lightest shade in this. Going all over my lid. And then I'm going to take the second 
lighter shade there and just put it on my lid. I'm doing a very quick look. I should have thought about this earlier, but oh well. Actually, I'm going to use my finger because it's a glittery, it's sort of a glittery shade and I don't have any clean blending brushes. I think this would be better with a cream shadow or something, but it's just going to be a very long eye look, so that's okay. <clears throat> I'm going to set my face with the Matte Magic Setting Spray, or Mist and Set. This is $3, so hopefully it's good, because that's what I usually pay for my other one. And then I'm going to use the 3-in-1 um, Mascara Very Black from e.l.f. I'm just going to use a very light... Oh, I just messed up my mirror. This is going to be a very subtle, like, no makeup makeup look. And I can't see my mirror, so I have no idea how well this is looking, but... That ball on the end is kind of helpful. Alright, now I'm going to do a lipstick, and I'm going to do the, um, Lasting Rimmel Lipstick from, uh, Rimmel, yeah, 45, and put that on. And then I'm going to use this, um, glittery lighting, um, it's for your lips, it's a, what's that called? Lightning Golden Gold. It's a shimmery top lip coat. I can actually see. Yeah, this is very subtle, but that's okay. And this was like $3 too. I wanted to try it. It was newer. Okay, guys, that's my look for um, using my e.l.f. cosmetics and fixing my hair in the morning. This is my look. And I think it actually turned out really good. It's very subtle. Um, I don't have mascara under my eye. The mascara... I never liked e.l.f. mascaras, but, like, it's fine. Like, I'm just using a very light thing. But this is what it looks like, guys. <clears throat> and this is my hair. It's just going to air dry today. And I hope you all have a fabulous day. And remember, just to... Not to strive for perfection, but to strive for progress. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye!